Hi guys, it's Sienna Mae Gomez and you're watching Hollywire. Hollywire, what is up? We got our girl Sienna Gomez in the studio. Woo woo! Hey guys, how are Hello. you? We're Hi. so excited to have you. <laughs> so um, excited to be here. We're gonna play Noggins Up. Woo woo! Oh, she sings TikTok. Uh, Kesha? Nick, mm -hmm. And I. Whitney will. Houston? Yeah. They were on Ellen, they're little girls. and they Sophia, sang, Grace, and Rosie. Yeah. I know, I that, know that, right? Okay, she was the first lady. Oh, uh, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. Oh, time's up. Oh, she she um, she did stuff with Amy um, Poehler. They did Seinfeld oh. or no 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 not Seinfeld SNL Saturday Night I Live. I don't know what her name is. She I saw. Her. She was the mom in that one movie like The Blind Side. Tina Fey. Yeah. Um, he's like really strong. I'm pretty sure the he Rock? was like the mayor of somewhere. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Oh, I just passed it on accident. <laughs> um, he gives advice. He he got the girl famous that said, um, um, "Catch me outside. How about that, bad baby?" She she, she was on a show. She was on a show. Doctor Phil. Yeah, done. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. One second. What was Time's it? Up. Heidi Klum. But yeah. So tell me about the Maybelline. Um, the, being the face of Maybelline. Like, how was that? I love Maybelline. I've used May Maybelline products since I was like. 13 so obviously I think we all have yeah. Like, uh, yeah and when they reached out obviously I was like super in shock and I was like super excited about it and it honestly just ended up like working great with you know what I'm geared towards um, I think that you know it's it's like very um, like realistic to my age demographic of viewers because everyone has access to Maybelline they're quick and efficient and it's just a really great brand to you know, and you collabed with Kylie's uh, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. Yeah, right? Ariel. What was that like? I would love to get my makeup done by a oh celeb gosh. makeup artist. Like, come on, how was he, that? He is one of my favorite people ever. He, I still talk to him pretty often, and he's always just telling me like advice and giving me advice because obviously he's so much more like experienced and he's seen what the Kardashians and Kylie have gone through yeah. and what you know their experiences. So he's been around and he knows what he's talking about and I really love having like him as a mentor and you know giving me advice for becoming in this industry. So aside from him being like a mentor is there anyone else in you know that you kind of look to you know just express yourself or if you're stressed like anyone that you kind of talk to and vent to? I definitely have a lot of like um, people in my life that are also influencers. Um, I've mentioned them before, but you know, Noah Miller is a good friend of mine. We talk a lot. He's on TikTok. I also talk to um, Jack Wright. Um, so, I mean, you've collaborated with a bunch of people. You obviously have friends. So, but if you could choose like either a like a big celebrity, um, you know, who would it be that you'd want to? It definitely Zendaya. I mean, yeah? she's just like, ugh. Girl crush. She's so what beautiful. She's no. She, I know. Stop. I'm like, obsessed with her. Um, <laughs> she's just so beautiful, and I just like want to give her a hug and just. Tell she, her she is I love such her. a like natural beauty, and I feel oh like my God, she know. actually reminds me of you. I mean, she's she's like. Oh my gosh! I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> Romance. Oh my gosh! <laughs> thank set. you. No, because I mean, she is herself, and you are too. And it's I feel like that's something that obviously sticks out to people. She was also like a dancer and I was a dancer. So I like watched her and shake it up. And then I watched her in um, The Greatest Showman and then I watched her in Euphoria. So it's like, I've just like followed her career and like I've always just had so much respect for her. Yeah, what and type of dance did you do? I was a competitive dancer. So I danced competitively for seven years and I literally did every style oh, Monday wow. through Friday from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day. So I, yeah, it was a lot. So I, I did, like every style, I did contemporary, jazz, modern, ballet, hip hop, break. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like PTSD talking about it. But. <laughs> Can you teach me the squirrel dance? Do you want to learn it? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, yeah, I can teach you it. So put your left foot like forward. Oh, left foot, this is already I, bad. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, I guess. And then you just kind of like take your hand. I'm doing my right hand. Okay, I mean, my right, right leg. Whatever feels comfortable, whatever feels comfortable. So then like put your like hands like this kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Can I do the little yeah. squirrel teeth too? Oh my god. <laughs> and then you just kind of like, like yeah. And that's literally <laughs> it, and that's it. And you just, wait, it looks good though. 
Wait, do it. Wait, do it. Oh my god! That was, that was good. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, Hollywire, I mean, it was so great. It was so Thank great you having you having in. Me. Thank you for teaching me the squirrel dance. Oh. <laughs> Always, anytime. It was, it was great. I really mastered the. Yeah, that was good. Thing. I like it. You should Thank do you. that all the time. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, Hollywire. So keep it here on Hollywire for more of your celebrity news. Bye.